Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part nine video on Blazor WebAssembly CRUD sample using .NET 7 API as backend and Mudblazor UI library. So the main aim of this video is to implement the pagination. Now we are going to add pagination next to our search box. Okay. For that, let's first do changes in our API project. So go to API project and superhero filters. Add new parameters like new parameters like page number. Okay. And page size. Okay. Now go to our superhero service, we have to implement some logic. Okay. To implement pagination on EF core, we have to prepare skip and take. Skip represents number of records we have to skip. Okay. Take represents number of records we need to take. So first let me prepare a skip. So int skip equal to okay. Filter superhero filter dot page number minus one. Okay. Multiply by superhero filter dot page size. So here what we are doing, we need to. So for suppose if user requested second page. Then we have to calculate how many number of records we have to skip. So to calculate like that, we have to minus by one with the current page number. So user requested page number two, right? So we have to do minus one means page number one into total number of sizes. So requesting page size. If you do like this, so number of records need to be skipped can be calculated okay and then integer take so take is directly we can assign our page size okay no calculation required here so now let's apply skip and take to our query so superheroes equal to superheroes dot dot take okay that's it our pagination applies okay let's take check the api okay now in the swagger i specify page number like two okay and i will specify Page size like five. Now execute. Okay, see now we are getting data and records we are fetching. Okay, so pagination is working fine. But now our Blazor WebAssembly application depends upon the total number of records in the database. Okay, for page page calculation. So that means along with collection of filtered records, we need to give the total count also. So total count should be executed before the pagination. Okay, then only we will get total count. So to get the total count, what we have to do means int total count equal to await superheroes dot count testing. Okay, this is going to return as count testing and make sure your count must be given before the pagination. Okay, if you give after the pagination, there is no use of fetching the count. Okay. But how to deliver them to the UI? So we have to change the response type object now. So 
let's let me add a new DTO. Okay, so let's add a class. Super heroes container. Okay, so here I can add public int total count. Okay, now let me create a DTO for superheroes entity because we should not use uh, entities inside of the DTO. Okay, so superheroes can let me create a one more class here. Okay, public class superhero DTO. Okay, so that contains exact properties of our table class. So copy them and add them here. Now let's change the return type in our service files. Okay, so now the return type is superhero container. Okay, and also change in the I superhero service. So, super hero container. Okay, and we have we I forgot to add the property. Okay, public collection of superheroes. Okay. Now, in our service, let's change the logic of the return value. So here, where db result equal to our superheroes collection, and here we have to return container and total count equal to total count. And now I have to map my superheroes data coming from the database to my superheroes DTO. Okay, so to map them, I am going to use the auto mapper. Go to dependencies and click on packages and go to manage NuGet packages. Okay, and here search like auto mapper and install the auto mapper with dependency it will automatically install auto mapper also okay so i am installing auto mapper extensions dot microsoft dot dependency injection okay mapper is successfully installed and here we can check it auto mapper okay now let's create a profiler for my mapping. So let me create a folder like common. Okay, inside of this folder, let me create a file like app mapper. Okay, so this class must inherit profiler, auto mapper profiler entity. Okay, now open the constructor. So here I can define the mapping. So create map. So here, what is our source and destination? Our source is DB results. DB results type is superheroes entity, and destination is our DTO. So same thing defined here. Okay. So first source object that is superheroes, our entities. Okay. Next superheroes DTO. Okay. That is destination object. And now let's register a auto mapper services in our DI. Okay. So here I can register like builder dot services dot add auto mapper type of i can give my program dot cs root class okay now go to our service and inject the i mapper okay 
so private read only i mapper okay and inject the i mapper okay and assign the imapper value now i can assign superheroes okay underscore mapper dot map okay destination object is superhero dto okay and db results db results since our source is a collection right so destination also should be collection of object okay that's it now let's check so let's check our endpoint okay let's try like page number two and page size five and execute and here the total count is 80 and we are getting second page five records okay so that means api changes are done now let's implement logic in our blazor webassembly application so go to webassembly application okay now all superheroes response type is change right so let's create a vm like superheroes container okay super heroes container v vm okay it should be almost similar to our newly created container dto in api okay copy this and add here okay so let's copy this and add here let me remove this let me remove these two things okay here there is no dto but we have superheroes vm okay so now let's change our uh, implementation here so here not superheroes we are going to get superhero container vm results okay now where results equal to total sorry all superheroes equal to result dot superheroes and to maintain the total count let's create one more variable like private string total count okay so total count equal to result dot total count sorry it should be integer now let's create two more variables like private integer page number okay okay and page size okay default values for these two things are page number one and page size five okay now let's add query parameters like ampersand so what are our filter query parameters page number and page size so copy this equal to page number ampersand page size okay
So these are default page numbers and page sizes. Okay, let's test with the default page nation. Now, if you check defaultly, we are getting top five records because we are specifying page number one and page size equal to five. So that is why we are getting default five records. Now let's add the pagination component, Mudblazer pagination component. Okay, go to components and go to pagination. Okay, here is the pagination component. Okay, let's copy this. Okay. And let's add it as one more item, mud item, okay. And it's going to take four column space, okay. So here is the count. So this count represents the number of page numbers to display, total number of page numbers it contains, okay. So for now, let me remove this key select. Okay, yeah, I am adding wrong way. Should be here. Okay, now check. Okay, here see we are getting four numbers. If I change it to count to two. only two page numbers okay so that is the use of count so here we have to calculate the total number of pages based on the total number of records okay so let's create a method that's going to calculate our count okay get int get total pages okay this is my method okay where Total pages equal to double. Okay, we are going to use decimal value, so that is why double total count divided by double the page size. Okay, the page size parameter, right? Page size. Okay, and finally, if there are any decimals, we have to seal them. Okay, so return convert dot to integer. Okay, and math dot sealing. Okay, total pages. Okay, now let's check. And let's configure this method to the count property. So we're here. So get total pages. Okay. And here it is always should be open the brackets. Why I am opening bracket means if you open bracket, it always executes. Okay. So we also want that only it always executes the count. Okay. So if I check. See, now we are getting four because total number of records I have 18 records. So page says five. Okay. So 18 by five around it is rounding to four. Okay. We'll get three point something that is ceiling, ceiling, right? We are doing seal. So total count it will return like four. Okay. Now we have to implement logic for this. On keep clicking the pages, on clicking the arrow, next arrow, next right hand side and left hand side, we need to call the API calls. Okay. So for that, I can use one event. Event is like selected change. Okay. To this event, I need to find the method. So Private async task to paging. 
okay so the selected change is a event callback method so it's going to input the page number as a input by default okay page so here i am going to assign the page number equal to my selected page number and i am going to call my get all api call all superheroes api call okay and here in do search and do sorting method uh, we do some resetting that is like page number reset back to one why do we do means so when the filter is filter or sorting applied okay the content must be changed at that time the existing page number won't work okay so it is always good to reset them back okay so page number equal to one okay let's test it okay, something is gone wrong okay so we have to register our here no need to return just away and do paging must be registered with on selected change event okay now test the page nation okay now i am clicking second page see third page fourth page if i implement sorting it's going to reset okay and if i search like female okay page nation also perfectly displaying so that's it we are successfully done a complete blazor webassembly crud operation including sorting search and page nation thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do support by subscribing to the channel and also please don't forget to like and share the video soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off